All right, guys. So today we're going to be doing some completing the square. I mean, this is very easy to do. Now, the first step is really to, to uh, isolate this number over there. So basically, 5x equals 8. Now, what do you do, guys? Oh, I don't know what to do, man. I'm stuck in, in the water. No, I do know what to do. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. Now, I mean, what you want to do really is do this. This is the second step. Factorize. So x squared plus 5x divided by 7 plus... What is it? Yeah, 5 divided by 7 and then 5 over 7 times a half, which is going to be 5 over 14. <laughs> uh, 5 over... Shit. 5 over 14. This is going to be squared. <clears throat> it's going to be squared. And then you just do 8 plus... 7, 8 plus 7 times 5 divided by 14 squared. A lot of people forget this stuff, like, a lot of people forget to fucking move this 7 to there. I don't know why they fucking forget all that shit. But yeah, people forget that. People are stupid, that's... <laughs> people are stupid as fuck, that's why they keep forgetting this shit. Now, step number three, I mean, this is pretty boring. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but I, I find it exciting. <laughs> do I really find it exciting? I have nothing better to do this evening, so let's do some math. Eh? Now, now, what do you guys think is the next step? I'll give you guys a few seconds to, to think it over. All right, the next step is to really Factorize it. So 7 times x plus 5 over 14 squared equals 8 plus 7 times. Now you square both, both of them because they're in the fucking brackets and there's a square there, obviously. 5 times 5 is 25 divided by 14 times 14 is 196. Now, there's actually another way, quicker way of doing this. Uh, what was it again? So 14 times 2 times, that's 28. 28 times something. What was the number again? 20. Eh, where's my fucking calculator? Yes, exactly. 14 times 2 times 7, which is going to be, so 28 times 7, that's going to be, 7 times 2, that's 140 plus 56, that's going to be 196. Okay, so that's perfect, that's done. So the, re the reason why I did that was because I could just get rid of the 7 here, which is going to make it a lot easier to work with. That's gone, that's gone. So now what we're left with is 8 plus 25. Uh, let's erase this a little bit. 8 plus, let's erase that. We're left with 8 plus 25 over what? What was it again? <laughs> I can't believe I forgot. All right, let's, let's just do it again. Hold on. 8 plus 7 times 25 divided by... 14 times 2 times 7, which is, this is gone, that's gone. 25 divided by 28. 8 plus 25 divided by 28. Uh, 25 divided by 28. Now, since we're running out of space, let's just wipe this out. Write it over here, just so we don't forget. I'm very forgetful, man. I mean, that's not really the right way to do it, but whatever. <sighs> now that's over. The fourth step. 7 times x plus 5 
divided by 14. No, no, no. <laughs> it's not divided by 14. It's, it's x plus 5. 5 divided by 14 squared equals 8 plus 25 over 28. How do you do that? 8 times 28, 8 times 20, 8 times 8, that's going to be 8 times 2, that's 1660 plus 64. That's uh, 224, right? Yes, that's 224. Yeah, that's 224. 160 plus 40 is 200. There's 24 left. Because you... Yeah, 224. So that's going to be 224 plus 25 divided by 28. 24 plus 25 is... 20 plus 20 is 40. 40 plus 49. So 249 divided by 28. Man, this is long as fuck. <laughs> I mean, I didn't expect this to be this fucking long, dude. Okay, and we did that. Yeah, so that's 224 plus 25 divided by 20. So 7 times x plus 5 over 14 squared equals 249 over 28. Um, 6. What do you do now? It's pretty obvious. You just multiply this by 1 over 7. So that's going to be x plus 5 over 14 squared equals 249 divided by 28 multiplied by 1 over 7. Oh my god, dude. This is long. Oh my god, this is so long. <laughs> it's long as fuck. Hold on, let's write it over here, actually. x plus 5. Uh, 14 squared equals 249 divided by 7 times 2, 14, 140 plus 56, 196. That's the answer. Now you can just do x equals 249 over 196 uh, plus or minus the square root of that becomes minus, right? That becomes minus. Well, no, that's it's fine. Yeah, the square root will become yeah, and then that becomes e yes yes. What? No, I'm making a mistake here, aren't I? I am making a mistake. Yeah, that's a mistake. That's a mistake because it's gonna be. Maybe x plus 5 over 14 equals the square root of 249 divided by 196, which is going to be 8. x equals minus 5 over 14 plus or minus the square root of 249 divided by 196. Now, what's the square root of 249? Well, I know the square root of 196 is 14, so this is going to be x equals minus 5 over 14. Uh, plus or minus the square root of 249. Yes, guys, I'm aware I made a mistake. That's actually supposed to be 14 right there. <laughs> it's crazy how you're so tired and you make mistakes.